I am uh, so very happy uh, to be here, uh, to be a part and to help facilitate this, uh, this synthetic field that's gonna go in uh, and put in by Phil Turf. I just wanna let you guys know that Chris, Chris Wedge is here uh, from Phil Turf. So if you wanna ask questions, I know that President Drake, you're probably gonna corner him somewhere and, and, and find out what's happening. But he's the one that's gonna make sure that this gets done by August, at the, at the latest. It's an exciting time uh, building this athletic department, the alumni and what we're trying to do, the vision that I've had since I've been here and having the opportunity to be a part of this administration. Uh, this would get done if it wasn't for our administration. They have, they have championed everything that we've tried to do here and they've pushed forward and basically have seen the same vision that I see and uh, have given me the ability to step up and ask for the money, ask for the, the, the help, and we have a long, long way to go because this is just the start. What we're trying to do ultimately is over here, which is a, a locker room, a laundry room, a equipment room, and we're, ultimately this will become a football facility. I couldn't be more uh, pleased to stand here and be a part of what I know is just the beginning of what um, our athletic program is going to create in the future. I am excited about Coach Woody uh, and what he's going to put together. Uh, so I just want to celebrate him in this moment because, quite frankly, part of why this field is coming together is in part because we wanted him to come and see what this program could be. Coach Woody, I just want to say thank you, and we should give him a round of applause as our new coach. And we're going to see the first pass of what he's going to field here in a little while. HBCU game day here in Daytona Beach, Florida, where head coach Raymond Woody just went through his first set of spring drills. Coach, how do you evaluate the team after today? Well, I tell you what, you know, we started out, you know, obviously the kids, you know, they wanted to know what to expect and, and we, we showed them what to expect and, and as the spring went on they kept progressing I think right now they understand what we do and how we do things. Coach today was just a part of the 100th year celebration of Bethune Cookman University football. How does that make you feel starting out with the champions breakfast today the unveiling of the site for the uh, groundbreaking for the new practice facility and then capping it off with the uh, maroon and gold game. Well you know it's all about the players and, and um, you know the alumni you know that obviously paved the way to get in those situations like the groundbreaking of the new field on campus. I mean, that, that's just a, a beginning, you know, and when I was in school, I mean, we didn't have all those type of resources. So I'm so excited, you know, for not just the players, but this university, this program, and that's huge, you know. I mean, a lot of recruits, over 160 recruits, you know, seeing all of that, you know, that's big time. And, and administration, you know, they work hard to make this happen. Started out as a player and now you've come back as the head coach of Bethune Cookman University. You know, how exciting was it to walk out here on the field thinking about the days when you played and the greats uh, that came before you and now you're in standing in the shoes uh, for Bethune Cookman? Man, I tell you what, they were special. You know, I had uh, chill bumps, you know, the minute uh, they hired me and, and obviously, you know, it's not about me, it's about we. And, you know, a lot of uh, individuals, you know, paved the way to put me in this position. I'm so grateful to the president, or the board of trustees, and also A.D. Theus for allowing me this opportunity. Coach Raymond Woody, the head coach of the Bethune-Cookman University Wildcats, it's never a bad day on Bethune-Cookman's campus when you can see Rasheem Mathis along with Shine Wyatt. Coach, it's a great day in Wildcat Nation, and we look forward to seeing what the Wildcats have to offer this year.